Hey guys, it's Isaac. So the road trip cover kind of popped off. Um, as of right now, we're at 1,018 views, which is absolutely crazy. I've never had that many views on any video ever. So first off, thank you so much. You guys are absolutely insane. And second off, as a little treat, I thought I might dive into the project file for Road Trip because I don't know, I think it's just kind of interesting and I think a lot of people would enjoy it. So first thing I started with now, as you can see here, I had this here and this is just the audio file just ripped from, well, this is, so let me take a step back. So what this is, is I went into Isotope RX and I isolated the vocals. People change like the tides in the ocean, at least I think. But before that, this was just the regular song. And I used that to model this after. Now, after that, then I took it out. First thing I did was the electric guitar. Surprise, the electric guitar is not real because I didn't feel like learning it on actual guitar. So I have this. And so that's, that looks like this if you're wanting to know how to play it. And then it goes which is this, if you're wanting to learn how to play it. And then, so I put those together and what it has on it is, is it has a low pass filter. It's just a, um, it's a low pass and a high pass. It's, it's just like a radio effect. Um, it's just a radio preset. And then I have this automation clip, which brings it down. So it's like. For the electric guitar chords, I just have the actual notes that would be in the chords, and then I added some strum to them, so it's like. All right, so that's the intro for electric guitar, and the piano is just really simple. It's just ditonal. Literally, that's what it is. So then those together. And again, the drums, just really simple. This is a ride keeping rhythm. And then, so here are my live vocals. So most of the vocals I did record live in the video that you saw. There were some sections, I don't remember exactly where, there were some like short little phrases that I punched in later, um, just because the live take wasn't the best. I still use most of the take. First off is we have a, a just a nice little EQ boosting the highs, kind of like that air, that nice little presence that gives the vocal life. Took out People some mids. People change the tides in the ocean, at least I think of am I wrong? Put on the bass. And there's auto tune on it, of course, as always, C minor, which is the key. And then I put some nectar elements. This thing always pops up for me, although there aren't any files missing, it works perfectly fine, so whatever. People change like the tides in the ocean. At least I think of am I wrong? Foot on the bay, cut the light, I don't notice. So that's the effects chain that I have for that. And then, all right, as we go over here, um, then we get into the chorus. And so first thing that's different from the verses is that I just had this little shaker going. And I believe, yeah, that's just straight up right as I recorded it. No boosting, no effects, no cutting, no quantizing. That's just straight up. What's fun about the drums is so the, the drums, I'm using addictive drums and I'm using this clean preset clean-ish on the Fairfax volume one, which is, I use that for everything. So what the chorus drums are is it's literally the verse drums that I copied and pasted. Instead of this open hat, I changed it to a crash. And instead of the hi hat, I changed it to a ride. And so it's the, but it's the exact same after that. And then the piano, uh, I really like it. I thought it was really uh, nice. Just adds some nice bounce to it. I, I just think it really fills it out really well. Oh, and for the piano, I have Keyscape Cinematic, I believe. So like, yeah, a Keyscape LA Custom C7 Cinematic is what I use. And then the electric guitar is doing the same thing that it did in the intro. Then I have guitar chords. 
which is session guitarist from Native Instruments, I believe. Yeah, it's a uh, strummed acoustic session guitarist. And I'm using what preset am I using? Valentine. Uh, I'm using the, the default. So passenger A is what I'm using. So then all that together is. Now that interstate is paved with memories of a past life I lived when I was 18. And now, so you'll see up here I have live vocals and I have dubs. So the dubs were recorded when I did the video. Hey guys, Isaac from the future here coming to clarify. What I meant by this was the dubs were recorded before. I made the video. The dubs were recorded when I was making the instrumental and the backing, and then the live vocals were recorded in the video. Hope that clears it up. Thanks. And so that what that is is that's the whoa, whoa. and then that's a final harmony for the chorus. Now that interstate is paved with memories. Yeah. And then I have the the bass comes in, which is always nice. <laughs> I'm just using a little bit of R bass on it. I think it's really nice and groovy, especially with the drums. And the guitar. things I don't like about these live vocals and somehow I was debating re-recording but like the thing is is that that was the best live take that I got and it would take so long to redo it and I didn't and I wanted to use as much as I could I was running out of breath here now we finished now we through guess we knew one day we would have to grow up 20 hours in an old Ford across the Midwest thinking what for drove 20 hours I just really don't like it but it was kind of I had to stick with it. And then also another thing I don't like is that the harmony clashes a lot with the melody. Now that interstate is paved with memories of a past life I lived when I was a Yeah, that right there, lived when I was I was a lived when I was a uh, the minor second, I don't like it. Um, and then the desk ant comes in, which is Whoa. A fruity multi band compressor, just it's really nice. Um, so the default preset for it, it just squishes everything, so it's all very nice, like this before. Whoa. This is after. Whoa. It's just very nice, it squishes it a lot. And then I, I have two desk and I have Realm, which Realm is a native instruments reverb plugin that they released free sometime last year. They did it for like a few weeks, and I grabbed it while I could. I got it like the last couple of days that I could have. I don't think it's free anymore, but it was free when I got it, and I love it. Whoa. I'm gonna have these nice desk hands. Whoa. Obviously, I have this uh, tambourine coming in the last chorus. I believe this is the same thing. Yeah, I only dipped the volume a little bit because tambourines are so loud. But you no know effects, just straight up. And then the big thing, the solo. But we're not going to go over that right now. We're going to go over the rhythm guitar. I use, I don't have any, I need to get some good uh, guitar amplifier effects because I have my actual amp right there, but I didn't feel like micing it up because it was really late at night when I did this. It was like 10, 11 at night and I didn't want to do that. So I'm using this, I think it's called OpenFG. I don't know because the name's all weird because my PC messed up a while back. And then the solo which has a lot of stuff on it. So let's go with step by step. So this is the raw input. And this is all one take. And then I threw some hardcore on this, which is the ACDC rhythm. It's a little ear piercing, but. And this is just the preset as it comes. Need some gain to boost it. You're phrasing until I put on the EQ. Reverb. 
and then EQ. And then the drums switch to... No, this stays right. I thought it switched to crashes, but no. I, yeah, that was, I, I was going to switch it, switch it to crashes, which would have been... But I didn't like I didn't like how that sounded, so I think is really cool is uh, the rhythm guitar. I kept changing up the rhythm as I was recording it. So it was first this. Uh, my favorite things to do on bass are just like these really funky rhythms so it's like for the most part i'm just playing root notes it's just the rhythm is just whoa that's what makes it just like really nice <laughs> Thing, another thing I don't like. Uh, I, I can actually do the run on the sun. I just messed it up live, and that was the thing I had to punch in. And I close to the sun. This whole phrase was hey, for a minute. We were cool, then we flew just a little too close to the on close, close to the sun. Um, that was punched in. Too close to the sun. Now we finished, now we threw. Guess we knew one day we would have to grow up. To I also believe there was a part. Old van up the east coast to the cold wind. Drove 20 hours by the ocean up the east coast. Yeah, up, up the east coast. Um, Just up, up the east coast. What a road trip. Up the east coast. What a road trip. That was punched in as well. I think those were the only two things that were punched in. Um, and I don't have the I don't have the original files. They're somewhere. And then these dubs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, I reminisce about a past life. Things change. I get it, cause nothing left right. Yeah, and I was thinking about the last night, scrolling through our memories, debating about the last times. Yeah. And piano always just like it's not really nice. I love Keyscape. They just have so good pianos, so good pianos, such good pianos. And so I mean, you just put, I mean, it's not that many layers. It's not that complex, and you just throw it all together. And it's just I reminisce about a past life. Things change, I get it, cause nothing left right. Yeah, and I was thinking about the last night, scrolling through our memories, debating about the last time. Yeah. For a minute, we were cool, then we flew just a little too close to the sun. Now we finished, now we threw, cause we knew one day we would have to grow up. So, yeah, I hope this brought some insight into everything that went into doing the cover. And if you guys enjoyed, please give this a thumbs up. It feels weird to say that. It feels like I'm an actual YouTuber, even though I'm not. And I guess I'll be doing more stuff now because I've got a little bit of a bigger audience now. I guess I'll try and do some more stuff in the future. Uh, until then, keep watching Road Trip, please. Keep giving it more views because I like that. And keep tweeting it at Dream. And, yeah, more stuff to come.